all gods shall die. What is generally a reasonably well-handled rendition of the rise and fall of mighty Thor is ruined by one scene from Thor Love and Thunder. Oh, spook too soon. Jane? Mighty Thor's origin story and Thor Love and Thunder would have been much better if at least one scene didn't make the final cut. To be fair to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the feature film format is limited to just around two hours, which makes it extremely difficult to adapt Marvel Comics' extremely dense storylines into film. This task is further compounded by the MCU's introduction of non-traditional characters from the comic books. As a result, the MCU typically only loosely adapts stories from the comics, as seen in how Dr. Jane Foster's Mighty Thor becomes the conduit for the return of Mjolnir in Thor Love and Thunder. Thor Thunder and Love reveals that, back when Thor and Jane were still dating, Thor ordered Mjolnir to protect Jane no matter what, which is what causes Mjolnir to call Jane to New Asgard and explains the origin of Mighty Thor. Later, Jane's actions as Mighty Thor demonstrated that she was really qualified to wield Mjolnir. But it's obvious that Thor unintentionally enchanted Mjolnir to aid Jane was what really got Jane started on the path to using the hammer. Hey, there you are. The Thor love and thunder scene in question wasn't only redundant, it also hindered what would have otherwise been a respectable film version of Marvel's lengthy and intricate Mighty Thor storyline. The problem with Thor basically ordering Mjolnir to protect Jane is that it dilutes Jane's agency, as it implies that it was Thor who created Mighty Thor in the first place. Though Mighty Thor's MCU debut in the Thor, Love and Thunder cast was fine, it pales in comparison to her epic Marvel Comics origin. In 2014's original Sin, the Avengers battle Nick Fury when he refuses to explain what he knows about the Watcher's murder. Fury whispers secret words to Thor, causing the God of Thunder to become unable to pick up Mjolnir, which remained unattended on the moon. In Thor Vol. 4 No. 1, Mjolnir calls to Jane, who then asks Heimdall to bring her to the hammer, leading Dr. Jane Foster to transform into Mighty Thor. Indeed, the original reason why Jane became Thor is that Thor Odinson had become unworthy and Mjolnir needed a replacement, not because Thor ordered Mjolnir to protect Jane. Mighty Thor's movie origin is even more frustrating because both comic book and movie versions of Jane, as seen in the Thor, Love and Thunder ending, never needed Thor's permission or help to become worthy of his hammer. Cutting the enchantment detail makes Jane's connection to Mjolnir stronger. If Thor didn't do or say anything to prompt Mjolnir to seek out Jane, Mjolnir and Jane would have found each other anyway and neither needed any help from Thor. In fact, the hammer was doing the exact opposite of what Thor asked it to do. Mjolnir rendered Jane's chemotherapy useless and constantly put her in the path of danger. Though Jane first seeks out Mjolnir to find a cure for herself, she and Mjolnir hit it off when Jane ignores the drawbacks and just focuses on her duty as Thor. Apart from being one of the most adorable Thor, love and thunder Easter eggs, Mjolnir tempting Jane to pick it up at the hospital and Jane being unable to resist already show their deep connection. This can also be seen in how the movie adapted Mighty Thor's unique ability to change Mjolnir's direction mid-flight and then connected it to Hela destroying Mjolnir, a brilliant example of pulling off on film what even the comics didn't figure out. Love and Thunder actually bogs down Jane and Mjolnir's story by implying that it was Thor and not Mjolnir itself who chose Jane. Even if cutting this scene doesn't make the movie better, neither would it affect the story at all. To be fair, it did lead to one highly essential scene, the one where Mjolnir pulls Thor and Jane along while they're wearing rollerblades. Hopefully, the idea of Mjolnir having a personality and being treated like part of the family continues in Thor 5. By disobeying Thor's orders, it was Mjolnir, not Thor Odinson, which gave rise to Mighty Thor. As the final scenes of Thor, Love and Thunder reveal, Mjolnir chose the best possible champion.